Hey, so look, we going to see West Side Story. Everything's free in America. Know that the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or Say what's up to Courtney. Hello, what's up? So anyway, there's times when you don't have your camera and you go into a situation and be a whole movie. So I'm going to reenact that whole movie one day. So we like to be in America because we're going to see the West Side Story right now. Ooh, you're just my type. Everything's so right. Sit in the car and eat a sandwich before we go in the movies. We got 50 minutes. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. Yeah. So we got like 45 minutes. Uh, but I'm gonna get an icy from the um session. Is it this lucky drink? Okay, so we got 40 minutes. <laughs> it just goes down. It I was mad because he went to go get me one last night and it wasn't ready. Machine. You have an old cup of coffee sitting right no, here. No, that's a cup of old garbage right here. I'll throw it out. That's like Chick Fil A drink. Uh, I can't drink coffee. You want me to throw it out? I don't know what your movement is like these days. They're just heavy enough. <laughs> She's having twins. They're just heavy in my stomach and it hurts, but that's it. It hurts. Yeah, what yeah. part does it hurt? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's leaning on your ovaries. They um, especially since there's two of them in there. Right. That's a big little drink for my sandwich. Let me just show y'all what I have. Uh -huh. An actual handicapped person. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Hello? Hi. I thought you had to work. Get ready to go into the movies to see West Side Story. You can still come. It starts at 7. So you you can talk to Corny and ask her, you I'll know, about it. the seats so you can see if there's a seat by us. I'll check now if she wants. She going to check now and if you can see it, you can hurry up and get that ticket. You have an hour to get here. You know, I mean, if she don't want to, I'm, not, I'm huh? not gonna waste my time if she's not going to. If you're not coming, she ain't going to waste her time to look for the seat. No, I know. You're on speaker now. You know, I know. I hope I am on speaker. I just put you on speaker. It says F234, uh, but it looks like a completely different theater. Wait, yeah. is this a movie or a play? A movie. A movie. We sitting in the parking lot eating a sandwich. Okay, I was going to come help you through the website. Have fun. Thank you. Game. Sing along song. Yeah, that's going to be hard not to. <laughs> Alright, well, I love you. I love and you too. We got to figure out a day. Alright, love you. Bye. What about loving Courtney and saying goodbye to her? Why right. is this bye. Talk roasting. to you later. All right, bye. Love you all. Love, Love you, you too. too. All right, have fun. All right, bye. All right. This is a corned beef with provolone, but it doesn't look like it. it, it mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't. It smells like roast beef. Let's see. And it's like one piece of provolone spread on the whole sub. <laughs> 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love Lay's potato chips. Those were on the list of, well, you got me the list of like the worst uh, chips. Who made the list? Oh, guy. That was a video I saw. The worst day. chips, and this was on the phone. Uh -huh. The worst chips. They say Thanks when you get tripping. when you get a bag, when you get a box of chips, you know, like the variety packs of like little bags. The ones that's always left last are, are those. That's <laughs> not true. Not the people I hang out with. Yeah, because you. Okay, you tell me. You get. Tell me in the comment section what your favorite chips are and what your least favorite chips are. My favorite chips is actually plain Lay's, and my second favorite chips is Wise Onion and Garlic. Oh. What's yours? Ruffles, um, sour cream and onion or cheddar and sour cream. That's your favorite? And then 
I like um, Wise Honey Barbecue. Me too, those are good too. And I like um, Weavy, plain. The Lay's Weavy. For Wavy or Ripple, I like Uts Plain way, um, Ripple. Random, but <laughs> something I noticed today. A lot of places we went to, like public places or restaurants, they had the baby changing table in the women's room and not in the men's room. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've been through that. <clears throat> and it was just like... You should um, put that around social media so they could do something about right. it. Like... I'm with somebody who's gonna be uh, changing diapers. So I don't understand. Or what if you're a single dad? Okay. I want everyone right now to go to your social media, your Instagram, or your TikTok, or your Snapchat. Preferably Instagram, TikTok, or Twitter. And ask that question. Ask them. Tell corny because my mouth is full. <laughs> Why are baby changing tables only in the women's room and not in the men's room? How do they expect only women to change diapers? That is some sexist shit. Mm -hmm. That is some sexist shit. Mm -hmm. You know that's the second most sexist shit I heard today. <laughs> what was the first? The first was I can't tell the exact story in detail because I know the person will see me saying <laughs> But it was a situation of an insecure husband. But it's a country they come from a country where Men are still in charge of the women for the most part. Are the men think they're still in charge of women for the most part? <laughs> I would say the men or the still men they will are. abuse them to be in charge of the women. Mm -hmm. That made me feel sad. And when I was talking to the person, I don't know them enough to like really give them a speech. Mm -hmm. Not a speech. Give them support and give them um, give them advice and give them affirmations on what they should do. Uh -huh. I don't know them well enough, you know. They yeah. come from a country where, you know, there's certain religions and men rule them a lot and stuff. So, you know, I don't know that person enough to be just coming out saying something. Yeah. Um, made me so mad but it reminded me of when I was younger mm -hmm. and it kind of reminded me of how <coughs> I didn't get support from a man when I was coming out of college oh. what do you mean <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell the story I guess I'm just thinking out loud oh like support with what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. Support. Mm -hmm. okay. Support from for my career. And that's what I meant. So like, that's what I was asking. Like, what type of support were you? Career oh, support. Career support. Ooh. I didn't think I would deal with this quality. Had a belly, but if men and women support each other in their endeavors and in their careers, yeah, they could become a power couple. Yeah. For me. A power couple is just a couple who has what they want and they're happy, you know, and they're, they've are they gotten what they want in life and they're comfortable and happy and happy with each other. That's a power couple to me. Right. Oh, he ordered Red Lobster to go. Oh, I saw. I haven't had Red Lobster in a long time, Courtney. The only thing I want from them is they biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like microwave I'm wondering seafood. if it's yeah, but <laughs> that's the first time I ever ate this. It seemed like microwave seafood yeah. to me. Oh, the other night I ordered a 
a seafood boil to my house through Uber Eats. From where? The boiling point in West Orange. It was a little more expensive than uh, that place we went to. But you got a little bit Sammy's more. Sammy's birthday? Yeah. But I feel like like I got like already a little bit more included in it. Like it probably cost me about like 10 to $15 more. But I got like two pieces of corn already in it. Two uh, two piece, two potatoes. I got uh, like with my crab legs. I had like two additional random crab legs added. You know. Wow. Stuff like like I had a whole bunch of shrimp in it. You just made me want some. We could have ate there. I didn't even think about it. I mean, of course, I'm sure about if, if you order in, it's cheaper than well, you know they, they up the up charge for Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I want a seafood boil. I didn't Pick care. Pickup would be probably good. Yeah, I got it, but I, did, I got I got it delivered to me, and it was really good. The only thing I missed it was that's different when you eat in is like the utensils they give you, like to cut up to cut like the crab and stuff. Um, um, I have some of those. I needed some. I take them home with me. I was struggling, and then you know, like when you're opening, you ate your pickle. It was nasty. I like it. Oh, yeah, those are the kind of pickles y'all been like when I used to buy them. It has like no, it's like it's, it was like it's a cucumber. Maybe that's why I didn't like it because it was like, remember I used to buy those black temp tape pickles? They were just like this. They were garlic pickles, but they were like this with garlic. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like cardboard. I like them. Like, I was mad because I thought I was having a pickled pickle. I took a bite and. It tastes like nothing, so like I don't I don't want to give it to you because like I like spit it out and put and stuffed it all together to the side. Yeah, I wish I would have knew that. Yeah, if I knew you, would they give you this giant sandwich with that one little slice of pickle? It's like it's a like half a slice, like and the pickle's like that big. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this corned beef. Okay, so we got these sandwiches from a place called Cooper's. Cooper's was probably 50 years old. The, the actual little, it's like a little corner liquor store sandwich place. <laughs> That's the place that I gotta. I got a story about do it. Do a little show for y'all. I got a story about it, but I don't know if it's, it's a little racial, so I don't know if I should have to say it. So, um. It was about Cooper's So they make eat. these big sandwiches and they put all this meat in it, like I showed you before. And we always get corn beef. They corn hot corn beef be slamming. All right. So the last time I went there was probably two, two and a half years ago. Well, before the pandemic, I think it was like the September or October before the pandemic. And the the corn beef was so grisly and fatty that I couldn't even finish my sandwich. But this one is nice, tender. Juicy. Oh. Nice, tender, and juicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought you were about to transform into that woman in the back of the, of the mail truck and don't be a menace. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't um, be a menace came on the other night. And I wanted to watch it so bad. It's on Netflix. They oh, have it on okay. Netflix right now. If you want to check it out, but I wanted to watch it with Courtney and Gigi, and they didn't. They didn't want to watch it. Meet Devon or Charnies. Charnies. Devon and Gigi. Charnies don't do nothing with us. <laughs> um. No. So. I took Hoyt to Cooper's before. That that was the story. Of that. So, yeah. Well, I used to. I took Hoyt. Well, you know, his nickname is Hoyt. <laughs> to Cooper's. Because I was talking about this place that had these really good corned beef sandwiches. I was like, you know, it's a little hole in the wall. I'm like, it's like a liquor store and a deli off to the side. <laughs> we pulled up to that. That's the door is making me laugh. <laughs> we pulled up. So he was, he was like, oh, I want to try it. I want to try it. We pulled up to Cooper's. He looked, he looked at the store, the people who were outside. <laughs> And he was like, so you're going to get my sandwich for me? <laughs> no. I was like, why? You don't want to come in? He was like, no. He's like, I think. He's like, I'll, I'll just stay in the truck. <laughs> so I went in and got our sandwich. Did he like it? Yeah, he did. <sighs> it was so funny. 
Like I laughed at him when, we, when he asked me if I want to get his sandwich for him. So cool business. A really hood. It's in a really hood environment. And um, <laughs> she took her white friend over there because he wanted to try the sandwiches. <laughs> he he won't get out the car. Uh, I had to go and get our sandwiches for us. That was funny. But I low-key don't blame him because if I had someone else to go get my sandwich for me when we go there, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would. No, that whole time, I, say, I, I was... I want to drive past and look first. <laughs> I was so tempted to go sit in the car and wait while they were making the sandwich. Call your sister and see where she is right now because it's almost time to go in, isn't it? It's 629. <laughs> um, 15 minutes. Here's mine. Ugh. Oh, my pocketbook's in the bag. It's in my bag. What? The, um, placard. Uh, this is... My sandwich. Just Put so mine it's not up there because I'll forget it. Oh. As Sorry, go ahead. Yours. I feel like I don't want to give her mine because I'm not going to get it back. So... <laughs> I'll forget it. Mm -hmm. You say your sandwich is not as big as mine? Oh! Stuff is falling out on my lap. It fell on the floor. You need a napkin? I have one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot going on Feel over like here. my bedroom. Dude, this is like your bedroom? Everything, everywhere you move, something falls. I can't fit. I'm a piece of the. It was the pickle attacking me that I spit out. Oh. You know what I want in this? <laughs> sauerkraut. I don't know why. I just been taking some sauerkraut in that bite I just took. <laughs> <laughs> sauerkraut would be good on the sandwich. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save my other half and put sauerkraut on it. It would be like a like Reuben. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that car screeching. I said, well, here's the four comes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to do that? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Where are you? I am going from it's taking me to eighty to well, I'll get up to the turnpike. Okay. okay. Don't get you know you can take twenty one. Well, I'm already. I literally just. Went Mommy wanted me to call to see where you were because it's getting close to time to go in. Alright. I'll be here in less than 10 minutes. Alright. Okay. I don't want the bread. <laughs> <Well>. <clears throat> so I've been every once in a while like I'll binge watch some of uh the have and have nots. Really? Yeah and <laughs> The episode I was watching before I left to come here. Remember the maid? The maid that uh, Jim had babies with? Mm hmm She was, he was like, she he was being really nasty towards her. And before he left, she left the room, she was like speaking to him in Spanish. And she just said a whole bunch of stuff and then walked out and he was just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And when they were walking by, just now made me think of that. <laughs> like, blah, 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 blah. Don't be at us. I was like, yo, Jimmy's retarded. I know. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I knew I would miss that show, so I just tried not to think about it. <laughs> Gigi and Devon make fun of me watching that show. They make fun of me watching Tyler Perry shows. I can't watch too much of it in a row. And then, so what's been really weird with me, stuff that like <laughs> I was doing or watching or stuff when I was really sick. Mm -hmm. When I watch it, it makes me feel sick. <laughs> Like even my nails, I haven't got when I got my nails done because of how I felt when I was getting my nails done last. I, I was feeling super sick. I was feeling really. I, I, I feel like I'm about to fall out my chair. The chair off when I got my nails done, and now the thought or idea of me going to get my nails done makes me feel sick. Okay, so the camera stopped, but we were getting ready to get out of the car and go into the movie anyway. We went to the movies. The movie was really wonderful. I'm a big West Side Story fan. And I hope you all enjoyed our little car bang. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I've been on this channel for a really long time. And my subscribe account should be a little higher. So please support me. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a big thumbs up. So that my video could be... Um, recommend it so it could be seen by more people and also share thank you so much once again and i will see you next time thank you for watching love you all